on Lego research. The lecture today is on Lego research. Yeah, first of all, I want to discuss what is not on this book. Um, if you want to do Lego research, especially in practice, you have to find that if a, if a client brings a case to you, you have to first of all look at the case. What is this case talking about? In this case, actually talking about um, criminal, um, criminal, is it a criminal case? Is it a civil matter? Because they have to say a very long story. You don't need to draft those stories. You don't need to listen to those. You have to be grabbing points. Those points are what you use to do your legal research. Know that every research you're doing in law, it is called legal research. Then from there, we don't know if it's criminal or civil. If it's, if it's criminal, you don't come down if it is a murder case, assault, a manslaughter, etc. Then if it's civil, you don't come if it's a more... What is it called again? Family matter, contra, contractual issue, etc. Drafting of long essay and Lego paper. Lego research is the process of identifying and retrieving information needed to support Lego decision making. In the, bro in the broader sense, Lego research includes the notification of investigation results at each step of course of action from the beginning of the analysis of the facts of the problem to the end of the application. The process of Lego research varies from country to country and the Lego system involved. Lego research includes the following tasks. One, finding primary, issue, finding primary sources of law or primary authority in a given judicial, in a, in a given ju a jurisdiction. That means cases, status, Regulations, etc. Searching secondary authority for background information about a legal topic. Secondary authorities can come in many forms. For example, law review, legal dictionary, legal dictionaries, legal treaties, and legal encyclopedias, such as American jurisprudence, corpus jurus secundus, secundum. Thirdly, searching non-legal sources for investigative or supporting information the process is the process of legal research varies from country to country and the legal system involved legal research involves tasks such as legal research performed by anyone who needs legal information including lawyers legal librarians and palaregos source of legal information include printed books free legal research websites such as the Cornell Law, uh, Cornell Law School's Legal Information Institution, findlaw.com, Martindale, Hobel, Kana, Information Portal, free based data providers such as Walter Kluma, Lexis, Nexis, West Law, Lex Intel, Vilex, Blobeck, Law, Law Libraries, ETC. You may this 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 um these are in American swans. You may can still find uh, many of many many of other ones country, like in Nigeria, you have um, uh, law review and others. Okay, law libraries around the world provide research services to help their readers find the legal information they need in, in law schools, law firms, and other research environments. Many law libraries, many law libraries and institutions provide free access to legal information on the internet, either individually or through collective action, such as through the free access to law campaign. Objective, after, the, after studying this lesson, students should be able to debate and point out the relevance of legal research, as well as features, benefits, drawbacks of the processes. What is a journal? A journal is a combination of articles, newspaper, or magazine that deals with a particular subject or professional activity. The requirements for international law journals are title, name of the author, affiliation, abstract, general interruption, background of the study, aims and objectives, statement of problem, research method, research question, version of terms, literature review, member the recommendation, conclusion, footnotes and references. Note that one of the biggest, one of the more difficult things in law is research, is legal research. 
It is very hard to see even a professor of legal research. It is very hard. That's one of the most difficult something, not just in law, even in education. Because there's a lot of work to be done. It's not a lazy work man. It's not a, it's not a lazy work someone. It is, it, is, it, 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 it is a work that requires a lot of concentration, hard working, before it could be able to excel in legal research. This could mean what we have to take them one after the other. Those, those things you mentioned have been issued, which is one of them is tied to. This could mean the name of your article, paper, or your research work example, legal assessment of bankers and customers' rights in Nigeria. This example. The other name, it could, this, this means the name of the author, example, of Ford Unchukun Ozochas Icom. Then profile of the author. It could mean the personal details of the writer in a footnote format. Example, LLB, BL, certificate in business, certificate in ADR, diploma in business management, PGD, peace and conflict resolution, ETC, affiliation. This is the body the writer is with. Example, your university or the law firm you are working with. Abstract. Abstract is summary of your research work. Example, title, brief introduction, statement of the problem, aims and objective, findings and findings, recommendation and conclusion. General introduction. This is to introduce your work generally. Background of the story. This is the section to detail your background history, origin and everything you know about your research work. Note, choosing your research topic is based on what you like or what is researchable. And that's and what you feel like you can research on. Aims and objective. This section deals with the purpose of writing your research work and what you want it to achieve. Statement of problem. This session, this session is where you state the problems that made you to embark on the journey of your research work. Research methodology, this is method you want to use to embark on your research work. Example, qualitative method, quantitative method, primary, primary method, secondary method, and the doctrinal method, ETC. Research questions. This is a section where we, where we ask questions we, we later answer. In every research work, sometimes we take this question to outsiders who are our research work, who are in our research work, as in who related our work or is related in their field to answer before embarking on our research work. This answers is much, especially when we are using primary methodology. It is primary methodology that requires research question. Definition of terms. This deals with the this deals with the one one after the other explanation of some vital words used in your research work for easy understanding, literature review. This section deals with the review of your research work. Example, talking about your research work to reference to other previous work done, done in, to, in relation to your work. This is, note, some work are researchable and some topics are not researchable. What, what this means is that nobody has written any top, anyone has written any article on it. You only allow to embark on journey of only researchable work in education in general. Personally, I have written over 12 researchable work in different fields for people. I have researched in education, social science, one pure management science, agri, law, environmental science. I'm a tourist. Member, this is this deals with the major work of your research work, where you where you talk everything like merits, the merits, etc. With the references, notes. What makes it research work is reference. With that reference, it is an ordinary article, not a research work. Research work deals with references. You have to reference other people. When you say your own, you say, Mr. KK said this, Mr. James said this, Aroproku said this, or this or that. Then recommendations. This section deals with where you recommend what you want your readers to do as a solution to your findings. Conclusion. This section deals with conclusion of all your work at the end of research work. Footnotes. This is footnoting your research work, referencing your research work on the foot of every page of your work. 
it is Microsoft Word can do this or take or you can do this. As in this, the, the only um, this thing that supports it is Microsoft Word that supports it in computer. Reference or bibliography. This this is where you reference. This is where you reference your work at end of the research work. Then we are entering longest. Longest, another longest is called project. Uh, thesis, that's another name for it. Legal writing involves the analysis of fact patterns and presentation of arguments in documents such as legal memoranda and brief. One form of legal writing involves drafting a balanced analysis of a legal problem or issue. Another form of legal writing is persuasive and advocates in favor of a legal position. Source Wikipedia. Legal writing includes the legal patterns of writing long essay, thesis, project, etc. Ways to improve ways to improve your legal writing skills. What is legal research? Finding relevant cases and resolution. Blast Law Dictionary, ninth edition, define legal research as finding and assembling of authorities. Oxford Advanced Learner Dictionary, eighth edition, define research as a careful study of a subject, especially in one in in order to discover new facts or information about it the study shows that legal research works are still much being conducted under the doctrinal method that means doctrinal method the gps were conducting um, a legal research work even me too i always use doctrinal method i must be sincere <laughs> legal research is the process of locating an answer to an unknown legal problem verifying the law and reading cases. Legal research is generally the process of finding an answer to a legal question or checking for legal precedent that can be cited in a brief or at trial. Sometimes legal research can help determine whether a legal issue is a case of first impression that is that is unregulated or lack legal precedence. Legal research is the process of identifying and retrieving information necessary to support legal decision making. Remember your audience, organize your writing, digitalize, be concise, use action words, use simple language, simple English, avoid passive voice, edit ruthlessly. Editing your writing ruthlessly, omitting unnecessary words and writing for clarity. Careful proofreading is particularly important in legal writing, spelling punctuation or grammatical errors in a document submitted to, to the court. Opposing counsel or a client can undermine your credibility as a legal professional. Edit your writing ruthlessly, omitting necessary words and rewriting for clarity. Careful proofreading is particularly important in a legal writing. Spelling punctuation or grammatical errors in a document submitted to the court. Opposing counsel or a client can undermine your credibility as a legal professional. Legal, legal drafting can mean the preparation of any written legal document, a motion, a letter, a brief, a memo, or a contract. Lawyers and law, law teachers use the phrase in this way all the time. Draft a brief, draft a letter, Source, Google. Writing long essay or project. A long essay is an, is an essay that tends to be longer than three pages or 3,000 words or more than. Of course, the definition of a long essay will differ from one classroom to another, depending on the age and level of the students. Writing long essay projects, writing long essay slash project steps, legal research and legal drafting are vast topics. Legal research and legal drafting in article one, you talk of title, two, name, three, about the writer, four, abstract, five, introduction, six, methodology, seven, literature, review, so method, uh, slash membody, recommendation, conclusion, and footnoting. Law, plus law dictionary. Vast Law Dictionary defines legal drafting as the precise technique or skill involved in preparation legal document. Also, Advanced Learner Dictionary defines drafting as a rough written version of something that is yet that is yet in its final form.
Also, advanced learning additional edition define research as careful study of a subject, especially in order to discover new facts, information about it. Legal writings, art of writing, so research in preparation of legal document of any kind. Drafting is legal pattern, drafting. Drafting is, drafting is legal pattern of drafting or writing legal documents. Cover page includes the uh, includes the outmost parts of a book project bearing the title and usually the names of the author and publisher slash university and the place and sometimes date of publication. Title page. It includes a page at the beginning of a book giving the title and the names of author and publisher. Through it goes deeper in information contained therein. Cover page, title page, declaration, certification, dedication, acknowledgement, table of contents, table of cases, table of status, tables, if any, abstract. Chapter one, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, chapter five. Reference appendix, if any declaration page includes where the where the student declare his declare his project. Certification page includes where the student and other lecturers satisfy the students with their signature. Dedication. This is where students rise who the long essay is dedicated to. Acknowledgement is where students acknowledge all the people that aid them in one way or the other throughout the program. Table of contents. Table of contents. This is where a student writes all the content of the project for easy accessibility. Table of cases. This is where a student writes his case accordingly. Table of status. This is where a student writes his status containing the project therein. Table. This page where all the tables inside any of the chapter will be written down. Abstract. It's a summary of your work and it, it will not exceed one page. Instead, it will be half page. Chapter one, this is introduction and general background of the work. Chapter two, literature review. This is where we review books and articles related to our work. Chapter three, problems of the problems of the topic of your work. Chapter four, solution to the problems. Chapter five, summary, conclusion and recommendations. References, here you write down the works and names of author you consulted the research work in your research work. Footnoting this part of reference is where you reference your work under every page or on foot page of every page. Conclusively, I urge all the law student researchers and the whole writers in the society to reflect on potential modus vivendi of writing as a law student. It is it must aid you now and in your future. Finally, I equally urge all of you to visionary emblematize, utilize, and heed to the advice. Here we will discuss everything with everything that concerns legal research, especially in writing. This part as, as a lawyer, as a law student, as a practicing lawyer, as a project writer, as a long essay writer, as someone who is writing on a paper to be contributed in a law journal. So with this, I'm done with my lecture. Thank you. If there's any question, please let me know. Um, okay. Thank you very much, um, Mr. Charles, for this wonderful lecture. Um, but I have um, a question. It's not a question, please. I want you to clarify the situation okay. where you say that there are some topics that are researchable, others are not researchable. Maybe those okay. that, are, that are researchable, they've done, um, there's an already existing work or a work on it already. So can you clarify that issue if you didn't actually get it properly? Yes, as in, you know, once you say a work is such, that means once you go to library, internet, you can get those work. Because as far as research work is, is consigned, no work is original. Once you are researching, it means that you need to get other people's ideas. You cannot just come and write your own, but no, it is not acceptable in research work. Your idea matters, but you need to bring other people's idea as an authority to back it up. Okay. So once, 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 once you can get those 
authority to back it up. It is a researchable work. Okay. But this, you meet it in your final year when you're writing your thesis. There's a topic you submit. The, the professor or the lecturer will tell you, or the facilitator will tell you, this work is not researchable. I cannot approve it. Go and get another work. Or should I frame for you? Or should I fabricate a topic for you? <laughs> I get it now. So, yes. Thank you very much. Yep. Okay, now we can end the lecture and send it to them so they can read for the exams. So I think two exams are now ready for what is it called again? This day's one was um, pharmacy law and this, so you can set the exam for them. Tomorrow's one is um, mediation. Is tomorrow's mediation? No? Mediation? No, tomorrow is conciliation. Conciliation, yeah. Yes. It's on Friday, it's on Thursday, is mediation. Okay. At least I want right. to make sure we finish everything so that we know that those old courses have gone. So we'll start a new one. Very okay, well, now, take care. Well. Thank you so much, yeah. sir. Have yeah, a good welcome. evening. And you too. Bye -bye.